In this Starfield news update video, I will be sharing with you the patch notes of today's update. Bethesda have released a brand new patch for the game, and it contains a bunch of things that you will want to know about. Before we do take a look at everything in today's update though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates for this game. It has been almost two weeks since the previous update released for the game and Bethesda gave us some details on what to expect in future updates. They announced DLSS would be coming to the game as well as an improved surface map. Many fans had hoped that the OSS would be coming in the next update for the game but that is not the case unfortunately so update 1.7.33 is now live on Xbox and PC. It comes in at around 800 gigabytes on Steam whereas on Xbox it is 2.6 gigabytes. Bethesda did share a small statement just above the patch notes they said a small update has gone out for Starfield on Xbox Series X and S, the Microsoft Store and Steam. This update addresses some issues with performance and stability, as well as a few general gameplay issues. We are continuing to work on a large update that will add features and improvements that we noted in our last update notes, such as DLSS and the surface map. They go on to say thank you so much for your continued feedback and support of Starfield, and we look forward to a future with you on this journey. Let's now go through the patch notes. So in terms of general improvements, they have fixed an issue that could cause some characters not to be in their proper location. I've heard that a few times. An issue where star stations would be labeled as a player owned ship has been fixed. They've also addressed an issue that allowed for vendors full inventory to be accessible. So that's glitch that many people have been doing has been fixed. In terms of graphics, Bethesda have resolved an issue that caused star lens flares not to appear correctly on AMD GPUs. They've also addressed an upscaling issue that could cause textures to become blurry. I have seen this. And then they've also resolved an issue that could cause photo sensitivity issues when scrolling through the inventory menu. In terms of performance and stability, they've made various stability and performance improvements to address crashing and freezes. Plus, there was an issue where the hand scanner would cause hitching that has been addressed. Let's now talk about ships. So they fixed an issue that would cause displayed items to disappear when applied to in-game mannequins. And they've also fixed an issue that would cause items stored in the razor leaf storage containers and weapon racks to disappear after commandeering another ship. I've seen quite a few people complain about this, so I'm glad to see that fixed. Unfortunately, this is a small update. So fingers crossed a more substantial update that brings something like DLSS is in the near future. Bethesda did not share any additional details like they did last time of what they're working on, what to expect. So hopefully we do get that in the next updates patch notes. Let me know down in the comment section below if this update has helped improve the game in any way. Have you faced these bugs that are now fixed? Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on this game. Drop a like to help support the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on this game. And if you did miss any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on the screen right now. And I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.